Dragon Cannon here, and welcome back to Skyblock! I still love this game. Okay, now, I've mined myself out four stacks of cobblestone. Now, why you, the reason why you only see three in my inventory here is because the other one is in here. Now, what I recommend you do is you make yourself, mine out yourself four stacks. So you can keep one stack in your chest along with your wood. Now, to start off, I made three stone picks. Now, I exhausted two mining out this cobblestone. I recommend you keep at least two stone picks in your chest at all times. In case you fall off, lose all your items, that'll really help, help you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're first going to dig underneath the island and build out a small platform for ourselves to work on. This will be helpful when we're mining out this dirt here and using the grass to make our animal farm. So here we go. Okay, so once you're under here, you want to just basically build yourself a simple platform. Nothing too fancy. Just something to basically have underneath the dirt. So that way when you're mining uh, the dirt, you have actually something to stand on. And you don't have the risk of all the dirt falling. Which, you know, is not ideal in Skyblock. Okay. Basically just, you know, use your cobblestone that you've just made. Mine, excuse me, made. Why do I keep saying made? Alright, so, now that'll happen. You'll have those, uh, that chance of, uh, you know, getting a block here that's... A little annoying, that don't happen a lot, so you just gotta mine that up. Okay, here we go. Okay. Alright, so once you've done that and made your little platform, the next step you want to do is come down here. Okay. Now I'm putting that one block there for starters. But what you want to do is take a stack of cobblestone, Put it in your crafting table and make stone slabs. The reason for this, mobs can't spawn on stone slabs. Let me just show you. On slabs. So, uh, so you put the slab like this. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, so, I fell through the world six times until it finally spawned me back on my island. So that's going to happen. This is exactly why I told I said to keep a spare in your chest, just in case you fall off. Okay, so let's go back to what we were doing. All right, so we've got our slabs. Let's go down here. Okay. Now putting the slabs on the lower block like this prevents mobs from actually spawning, which is incredibly useful. So you could be a hundred or so blocks away, mobs won't spawn on these lower block slabs. Okay. Now you want to make most of your island, probably 90% of your island out of slabs. Just because mobs can't spawn on slabs like this. Now don't put the slabs on this upper half of the block, put it on the lower half of the block. Because if it's on the upper half of the block, the game is going to think, that the slab is the top of a block and allow mobs to spawn on it. This lower part of the block, you have the hitbox above it. Well, basically, you have the game will think that the this is not a real block. It'll think it's a transparent block, which mobs can't spawn on. This is the same uh, process works with stairs, but stairs you can't really use for Skyblock Island very usefully because you can't sneak on stairs okay so once you once you've built yourself a small platform out I suggest you extend it and finally mine your um, last two pieces of wood that's what I'm gonna do right now so I'll be back when it's done Okay, now I recommend, after you've got about two blocks here, 
you extend this one over here a little more because you're going to be placing another sapling down once you place the once you mine one sapling from there which will give you more wood so just to make sure you don't lose any wood at all just extend this area out a little bit there you go I recommend that and about it's not too much and it'll certainly help okay. now that let's mine our two pieces of wood up here and wait for a sapling Now, if you don't get a sapling from this tree, which can potentially happen, sometimes the sapling won't fall or it will just uh, fall off, that's essentially game over and you'll need to re-download the map and start over. There's a sapling there. There we go. Okay. I recommend you immediately start mining this tree. Uh, now, I'm not sure if waiting to, for the leaves to decay is a better idea to get leaves, uh, to get saplings. But, I usually just hit the tree because, look at that, two saplings. Now, in my experience, if waiting for the leaves to decay, I usually get one sapling. Look at that, three saplings. That is perfect. That is beautiful. So, it's getting dark. Um... That's going to be a little annoying for recording. Now, when it gets dark like this, as you can see, it, it gets really dark on my recording. So, that will be a problem. Okay. Back to mining cobblestone. Hooray! This is probably one of the most tedious parts of this entire... Series or not a series? This entire game mode to mine cobblestone. It's um, the one thing that in this entire game mode that takes the longest, but it is the most rewarding after all. Okay, so I'm gonna mine out a couple more stacks of cobblestone, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys.